the story of Christianity for centuries was that of a persecuted faith. You're a Christian, you maybe know some of that. And, and then the first time some jumped up little twerp says, uh, you can't have your church. You say, oh, okay, yeah, what am I going to do? The mayor said so. I guess I'd better shut down this church after 2020 years. I guess I'd better just, you know, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I mean, that's pitiful. The casino's open, check. Walmart's open, check. Costco's open, check. NHL players, check. And their gyms, check. You know? But not a church. Marcelo P. Ezra, I thank God for what you and the Rebel team are doing. If only the Canadian churches in mass got behind this fight for our constitutional freedoms. Well, you know what? The church, I, I watched The Passion of the Christ the other day. You ever watch that one, Justin? Like the Mel Gibson version? It's unbelievable. It's like, it's incredible. It's shocking. Uh, it's so bloody. And that's what the word passion, people don't know. The word passion comes from the Latin for passus, which means torture. He was very passionate. That doesn't mean romantic. It means tortured. You're, you're so revved up and passionate. I didn't, I didn't, because people would say the passion of the Christ. That's the name of the movie. He was tortured. What does it mean to be crucified? What does it mean to have a crown of thorns? Um, I mention that because from its very first moments, the Christian church has been tortured and martyred and attacked. I mean, sometimes the most powerful things are the most simple things. Like what would it have been like to go down the Via Dolorosa, the, the road of tears, carrying your own cross, and then it'd be, like, what would that have looked like, scourged? What would that have looked like? I don't think most people ever thought about it. Mel Gibson thought about it. It's a horrifically bloody movie. It's very hard to watch. Also, I think at the time it was the the most successful R-rated movie in history. People just wanted to see a Christian story told from a Christian point of view, not an anti-Christian point of view. But the reason I mention that, besides the fact that I just watched that movie, is um, this lockdown is nothing compared to what the church has faced before. Nothing compared to what the church is facing today in Iraq, China, Nigeria, so if in Iraq, China, Nigeria, Christians, Christians are being murdered. I've seen, I've seen, I haven't seen a murder with my eyes, but I've been to Iraq where ISIS comes in and marks the doors saying Christians submit, pay the jizya or be killed. I've seen that with my eyes. So you got a church in Canada and you shut down because some mayor says so based on junk science? You just shut down. Just, you just did it. You know, do you know, I mean, I'm not a Christian. I'm a Jew. So that's not even my story. The story of Jesus, the story of the crucifixion, the story of the persecution of the church itself, not just of Jesus, but of the church through history. The martyrs. The, the torture to renounce the faith. The story of Christianity for centuries was that of a persecuted faith. You're a Christian, you maybe know some of that. And, and then the first time some jumped up little twerp says, uh, you can't have your church. You say, oh, okay, yeah, what am I going to do? The mayor said so. I guess I'd better shut down this church after 2020 years. I guess I'd better just, you know, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I mean, that's pitiful. The casino's open, check. Walmart's open, check. Costco's open, check. NHL players, check. And their gyms, check. You know, 
but not at church. Oh, hi, friends. What you just saw there is a clip from our Rebel News daily live stream show. It's fun, it's fast, and it's completely unscripted, so you never really know what you're going to get. Just go to rebelnews.com slash livestream to sign up for special alerts.